Okay, so in terms of the monitoring process, <clears throat> once the dart is thrown <clears throat> and lands in there, you're basically looking at a, a six inch radius around that dart to do the monitoring. So obviously the difference of a dart landing here versus here will give you a different reading, but you are getting um, information in that area <clears throat> in terms of soil surface condition. Now, again, I, there's been some disturbances. I came up to get this dart, but if we look at what the surface was, it was recently capped by rainfall. It's easily broken after that uh, by anything. So it's it's a, a recently capped um, surface. It is. We have hit bare ground, but if we look for our nearest uh, perennial, we have a little <clears throat> uh, grass seedling coming up that's uh, one inch away, and it's uh, a warm season because it's just coming up now. Um, probably likely to be this three on um, uh, a, a variation on that. And then if we look in the area of what other annuals, we've got this forb here, so we do have annuals present. We do have signs of, of um, animals, probably rabbit. And we do have some litter covering the ground. It could be more, but uh, we do have some here as well. <clears throat> so we have the, the warm season grasses we know as we see it, that it's a, it's a, it's young, um, either young or seedling, however we want to term it, and uh, it's normal. It's not overgrazed or overrested. Uh, however, if the uh, plant had, had hit um, a graying area, then that would have been overrested. Um, and then if it hit in here, that would obviously be a plant base, and that would be a zero on the. Um, on the chart to, to mention as we are doing our monitoring.